Hey YouTube, Fred here, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at the Evernote app and how it works in conjunction with the um, computer online app. So basically what the Evernote app is, as you would kind of get from the name, the title of it, it's a note-taking app that allows you to uh, record a voice, snap a quick photo, attach a couple pictures, tag it, and all that, all things like that all while taking a note you don't have to go out to record the audio or anything like that so first thing I'm going to show you is how to record the audio you tap this mic right here and uh, it's going to record my voice I'm going to go ahead and type a note so uh, this is the sound so I'm Captivate and you could kind of see in the corner right here that it's still uh, downloading um, the numbers are not downloading wow recording and I'm gonna go ahead and hit stop right there. And the next thing, another thing you can do is snap a quick picture. So you can hit the camera icon and it will open up the different camera choices you have if you have a different camera app installed. And I'm gonna take a picture of this mouse right here. And then it'll give you a choice to save it or discard it. I'm gonna hit save. And another, like I said, you can uh, attach an image or a video. I'm not gonna do that. And then once you hit save, it uploads the note to uh, Evernote online. And that may take a, a bit of a time for it to get from here to there. Um, I've noticed a bit of a difference. So once you reload the page right when you send that, it may not be there. But it seems like it just got there because once it's online, it pops up on the phone. So you see I have two notes right there. Okay. Now I'm going to take a look at this portion of it. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh the page here and we're going to see how long it took for the note to get there. And I have this note called title. I did that one prior to this one. And yeah, it's not there right now. So we're just going to go ahead and go with the title note. Now, like it's going to go ahead and play the uh, the sound I did. The It shows the picture and it shows whatever note you had and then you tag you added in you're gonna put it right here so any picture you took it shows under the attributes and then like I said the sound is right here so I'm gonna go ahead and and I can go ahead and type in something weird something weird and I'm gonna type in uh, what is it called and as you can see that was from another attempt at this review um, I typed in something weird and it's right here and title is right here as well and the picture I took which is the picture of the pen so uh, as far as the app uh, working with the um, the online portion of the site it works out pretty well uh, I would have to say but one thing that I didn't know when I first got this app now you can see that well I can see that the Samsung Captivate note has come into uh, it's not record my voice I'm going to go ahead and type a note and you can see the picture that I just took is right here. This is the mouse I'm using, uh, Samsung Captivate. Yeah. So one thing that you're gonna want to know is that without upgrading to Evernote's premium note taking, whatever they want to call it, you're gonna be stuck at taking uh, only a few notes. I was only able to get about four, uh, and maybe that I was just because that because I was doing it wrong. Um, I don't think I was allowing it to sync, or maybe it just kind of cut me off. But I don't know what the cap on the upload uploads is right now. But uh, if you upload to the monthly, you can get uh, a gigabyte cap. Um, you can search PDFs. You can get the ads taken off and things like that. And the two plans they have is five dollars a month and forty-five per month. Now I'm not willing to pay f to take notes. I'll just go back to the uh, Samsung. Um, go back to the things that come with the phone but if you are willing to pay $45 a year or $5 a month to take notes then you could get the functionality of being able to do thousands of notes monthly um, 5,000 pictures and 3,000 clips and all that and have it loaded up to Evernote so and you can um 
and you can do whatever you want to do with that from there. You can go ahead and get this text that you want to use if you want to say type of paper from it. If you were recording like a um an interview you were doing with somebody, you could do all that. You got the sound right here, you're kind of playing, looking at the pictures that you took and uh, the couple of notes that you put down. So that would work out pretty well, but like I said, you would have to pay $45 a year or $5 a month, which $45 a year would be the smartest thing to do. But anyway, like I said, that's the Evernote app in conjunction with the online site. It works out pretty well, so I could recommend it if you were willing to pay the price, like I said. But check that out. You can get it downloaded for free. And then if you're willing to upload, upgrade online, you can do that. You don't have to pay anything on the app. So this is Fred with Anything Tech Spot. And have a nice day.